Hello, I'm Mark Sanders. I'm a librarian here in Joyner Library, and I've also taught several semester-long night classes in the Department of Foreign Languages and chaired ECU's Academic Integrity Board hearings. At the Academic Integrity Board, what we would see a lot of times is not wholesale copying and pasting or purchasing a paper off the internet, but it was students who had unintentionally plagiarized, and as a result, they had failed an assignment, failed an exam, or even failed the course. So I'd like to give you five suggestions on how to avoid plagiarism. Number one is learn how to cite correctly. And specifically, that means placing quotation marks around direct quotes, but where a lot of people get in trouble is with paraphrasing. It's not enough to just simply change a few words or rearrange a sentence. A good way to avoid plagiarism with paraphrasing is to think about what the source means to you and without looking at it, write down your ideas in the paper. But whether you quote directly or you paraphrase, you've got to acknowledge that intellectual debt in the paper with in-text citations and at the end in the works cited page. A good way to keep it all straight is a checklist. So every time you cite a direct quote or a paraphrase, keep it in a list and then make sure it appears correctly in the paper. But if you have any questions, feel free to contact one of the reference librarians at Joiner Library, the University Writing Center in Joiner Library, or your instructor. Thanks a lot for listening.